morning, good afternoon and good evening. Welcome, as you may or may not know, yes, of course, I'm Kim Serafini, the founder, creator and CEO of Positive Prime. Yes, I am the one who came up with the ideas and synthesized all of the knowledge and experience and so forth. I had decades and decades of experience in the spa industry with health and wellness and how do we actually re rehabilitate sporting injuries where I tried everything that was Eastern and Western and taught thousands of therapists, Ayurvedic doctors in India, physiotherapists, and I could go on and on and on. And then I dived really deep into the psychology of gratitude. And uh, voila, more than 10 years later, we now have what we call a positive prime session. And a session is actually what I really want to talk about with you today. People ask, which session should I watch? What session should I watch? Depending upon what it is that you would like to either overcome or triumph from, what uh, you might be dealing with so that you don't get bitter and in fact you get better and or you've got some really exciting goals and aspirations and ambitions and you'd really like to achieve something that you've never achieved before. We're going to discuss a few of those kinds of things. So a session a session is not really a video or a movie or a slideshow. In fact, it's a series of emotionally evocative images, up to 800 of them, that are very, very, very carefully curated so that we can actually do something really marvellous to your mind as it connects with your heart. And that is, we can positively prime you. And the question is, why would you want to be positively primed? Well, we know it's a brain state and body state. It's a way of being that optimizes you, that allows you to be at your best. It makes you more resourceful and more creative. There is actually scientific research that proves that you'll make more accurate decisions faster. And I could go on and on and on. And so interestingly enough, yes, it might feel like an audio visual movie or video, but it's not. It's inside a positive prime player. And this is an experience or an exercise that is so radically and disruptive in terms of innovation. It looks so simple from uh, the observer's point of view, and yet it's so sophisticated. And we've got some extraordinary people that have really been investigating and examining what it is that we're doing and how and why, whether they're either psychologists or they're neuroscientists or they're change management experts, etc. And they are quite frankly, if they really, 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 really are one of the world's very best, world-class, spectacular, really well-respected, then they're the kinds of people who actually see what it is that we convey through a positive prime session. And usually they are left with their jaws on the floor. They are in fact amazed. We have with us Patty Krummer, who's the head of Positive Prime in North America for the USA and Canada. And um, she can attest to the fact that she's been in many meetings. In fact, she was with us when we connected with uh, Becky Norwood, actually, and one of her amazing authors, J.W. Wilson, a couple of uh, days ago. It's almost a week or two ago. And the crazy, fabulous, exceptional and truly splendid moment happened for all of us because here is somebody who really and truly is at the top of his game. He has spent decades researching, funding millions of dollars worth of research in accelerated learning. And he seriously, you could see, he was surprised and delighted by what a positive prime session is. He was in awe of what we have created, but what we've created for you. Because you might be a little bit like me, and you may have been to seminars or retreats or read, you know, amazing books. They could be New York Times bestsellers from either Jack Canfield or Tony Robbins. And you're left with this desire to apply it all. And yet your humanity, your being a human actually gets in the way. Let me explain that. We usually acquire knowledge. So we learn. And most often not in an accelerated way. And we fail to follow through because we've got this reptilian brain that gets in the way. We've got this ancient part of the way that we were formed that really does prevent us. A lot of people try to deal with limiting beliefs. But the interesting thing is, is that, you know, or maybe some of you aren't old enough like I am. 
many, 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 many years ago, when you had a PC, you could write over a file. You could actually just rename the file. And um, it was almost like you could replace a file with a new file, which means that you didn't even have to delete the old file. You didn't even have to delete the old file. You could actually just write over, save as an entirely new file by the same name. Do you know what I'm kind of talking about? Well, we're in a place where transformative technologies and indeed positive prime allows you to create a new reality from here and right now. So long as you do the very thing that you must do, which is engage in the exercise, engage in the activity every day. What does that mean? You need to watch at least one positive prime session for at least a minimum of three minutes a day. If you're new, you're better off watching slowly as well as quickly. We'll explain what that means. Should I go and screen share with you? Let's screen share. And then I really would love for some of you to tell me, what is one of the issues that you're dealing with? What are one of the problems that you're actually facing? What are one of the challenges that you'd actually really like to have almost completely transmuted and evaporate? And we'll discuss what is the best piece of content? Because not very many people know that our subscribers have access to hundreds of pieces of content. So let me just very quickly go to screen sharing for you. Okay, we're here and we're on the positive prime portal. You have to be logged in for this. All right, so some of you have some questions. I'd love to hear them. I am an expert. Let's get started. I'm indeed an expert, <laughs> um, like many of the people raised here. I will tell you that we receive lots of emails and we receive lots of Facebook messages and so forth asking us which session or what session. In fact, there was one yesterday. So I'm going to start with that just to give you all an idea. And this beautiful, beautiful, very precious and very powerful positive primer said to us, look, I'm dealing with adrenal fatigue and what should I watch? Well, I have an immediate suggestion. And we've got lots of people joining us in this group. And they are positive prime professional leaders. They've actually done their certification. They've completed it. And often they've been in this very privileged position and they have co-created with us and they've contributed a session and they are the author. Someone like Jackie Isles. I know that we've also got another Jackie here, Jackie Simmons. I think we've actually got another Jackie here, Jackie Bailey, I think. <laughs> anyway, so Jackie Isles is a beautiful human being gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous in her soul and super bright and passionate, committed, dedicated to wellness. She interestingly enough has an extremely successful doTERRA business for those of you who um, understand a little bit about network marketing and direct sales and so forth. Well, Jackie was a nurse, a full-time nurse. She worked in palliative care and she worked in some other areas. Anyway, she had adrenal fatigue. Yes, she was diagnosed with Hashimoto's. She has a thousand percent reversed that, cured herself. She's become completely, fully and wholly well. She's vibrant and vivacious. She is inspiring. She's encouraging. And she has hundreds of thousands of people who follow her. Um, she has tens of thousands of people in her team in Votera. She's based here in Australia. This is a beautiful session. It's called Living Well by Jackie Isles. So if you are dealing with anything that is remotely like adrenal fatigue, then I'm going to suggest to you that you can go and watch Jackie Isles' Positive Prime Session. Now, while we're here, what I might actually say is be really honest with how you're actually feeling. I am presenting to you now, so I could arguably be anxious, except that I'm not. I'm feeling really powerful because I love Positive Prime. And what I know about being a Positive Primer is that I now have this vibration and this frequency that allows me to have an even greater impact on the people that I'm sharing my life with, people who are in my orbit, people who are in my circle of influence. I indeed am very powerful as you are. I hope that if nothing else you take away from today, you are powerful. Oh, I see I actually stopped the video when I went to screen sharing. So here I am back again. Um, you are powerful. You are so powerful. You are unbelievably powerful. No, you are believably powerful, okay? Believably 
powerful. I want your other than consciousness, your super consciousness to hear you are powerful. You have this extraordinary ability to make a massive impact. Do you know, I was actually in a think tank this week, just as an aside, so we'll do this. I feel powerful. So let me explain to you a little bit about what's going on with a positive prime session. I'm going to go down here and in the bottom right hand corner, I'm just going to mute that music so that you can all hear me. I could actually go to full screen here over on the right as well. The standard is 15 minutes. Why 15 minutes? Because I actually prime myself, I positively prime myself for more than 15 minutes every single day. I actually really like watching a session at around about speed four. Sometimes if it's a brand new piece of content for me, I make sure that I slow it down. When I slow it down, I have time to savor what it is that I'm seeing. I luxuriate in the messages. I allow it to literally flow through me. I was explaining to someone the other day and I'll get back to um, the think tank that I was in. I am like the water in the glass. If you love Masuro Moto's water crystals world and you are interested in quantum physics, you might actually really be on the same page as me. I am the water. Of course, for those of you who know, we're 70% or thereabouts of water anyway, and so is Mother Earth. This, all the oceans and lakes make up 70% of our beautiful planet is in fact water. So... I sometimes feel like when I'm watching a positive prime session, it's as if the messages are actually going into me and they are changing the water crystals inside of me. Can you all feel that? That's one of the things that is happening. So if I'm actually on a conference call, I could actually watch a positive prime session on speed one and I could have my peripheral vision engaged and I could allow it just to completely infuse me to raise my energy and frequency and vibration. I've got the quantum physics at play here, right? Now, if I have a really determined goal, I'll tell you what's really interesting about any content and about the way that we apply it. We have to actually integrate it into our identity. And without something like Positive Prime and the ability to personalize sessions, it can not and does not and will not happen. And so, as I suggested to you, you might read this amazing New York Times bestselling book on how to be successful or how to be happy or how to transform your relationships or how to have, um, a really effective strategy for dealing with conflict or how to negotiate or how to, how to, how to, how to. And that's brilliant. And yet you also need to actually have the content integrate with your identity in order for you to have the change occur in a very graceful, elegant, accessible, repeatable, enduring way. In order for the way that you transform, to be with ease and grace, you have to integrate your identity. I'm sorry, but it's just the truth. And so if you don't personalize positive prime session, you cannot actually have the content mixing and merging with images. That's my need, little Lucy. That's a couple of years ago. She's now a fine young woman who's actually the school captain. Uh, she's in her final year of school. They're my friends, Paula and Owen. What happens when I see photographs that are meaningful and significant to me is that my identity now gets interwoven into the fabric of the messages. Yes, that's me skiing in Mirabel, France, actually, many years ago. It was about 20 years ago. Oh, that's me when I lived in Paris. That was about 20 years ago as well. And so what I'm going to ask that you do is that you give yourself the gift of allowing yourself, give yourself the permission to personalize your positive prime sessions as much as possible. Add in photographs of yourself. Add in photographs of who you were. There's actually an incredible amount of research. They know this in terms of changing our health and well-being. If you actually look at photographs of when you were vibrant and energetic and flexible and perfectly well, you actually have a faster pathway to curing and healing yourself. All right, so we know that it's the same if you look at a photograph, even if you've got this photograph photoshopping, go to Fiverr, go to Upwork, go find a graphic designer who can photoshop an image of you when maybe you were a little 
um, unhealthy in your own eyes and see if they can actually make you look super healthy just by doctoring that image. It's only for you. Your personal images are for you. They're private. They're secure in your personal Prime account. They're for you to see inside of your sessions. It's important to you and you are worthy and deserving of this. I promise you, right? I promise you. So what happens when we actually speed it up and we go a little faster? All righty. So when we speed it up, guess what? We bypass the conscious critical judgment factors of the prefrontal cortex and we go straight to the other than consciousness and we actually plant seeds in our super consciousness. And so if you've got a goal that you're aspiring towards and it is really and truly out of your comfort zone or it is something that you have not experienced before, there are a couple of things I want you to know. Let's just say you are wanting to make a million dollars a year and you haven't yet ever. You don't know what you don't know. You also might think that you know what the person who makes a million dollars thinks, but you probably actually really don't in some ways, some respects. And if you haven't yet achieved that, you don't have the vibration of knowing that. You can't be in alignment with that. It's a little bit harder. So what you do is you could create a beautiful statement that says, I am making more than a million dollars a year so that I can actually serve others, or I am making more than a million dollars a year. Now, if you do that and you see photographs of yourself, you're going to actually integrate your identity with that. And if you see photographs quickly that you can actually resonate with so that you're in cognitive coherence with. So let's just say you love roses and you see roses. Then you see this statement of yours. Then you see your name and then you see a photograph of yourself. You're going to attach the energy of you loving the rose to the other things. Does that make sense? Did everybody get that? That's one of the reasons why within a positive prime session, there is actually a formula for the images that we actually show to you. You may have just seen and wondered why there was a photograph of some saucepans and pots and pans. That's because I had lots of old ones from 20 years ago that were hand-me-downs and I wanted a whole fresh new set. And so I put, I went to Google Images and I got some photographs of the actual saucepans that I thought that I might want to be able to buy. And guess what? I uploaded it and that became my reality. There was this incredible sale and I took advantage of it and I got all the discounts and I got some new pots and pans. It doesn't sound like a big deal, but every single thing in your life is actually a big deal. And you can have your other than consciousness, your super consciousness and your unconsciousness and your subconsciousness working in your favor. That's what's so exciting about Positive Prime, right? Okay, so any questions? Let me go to the chat. All righty. Um, Lucy says she loves her images and they always make her feel fantastic. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, is it Yalissa or Jalissa or Jalissa? Uh, you watched Jackie's this morning. Oh, good for you, good for you. All righty, so I... Um, I want to know if any of you are reading any of the questions and you've got any bright ideas. I can also see someone's got their hand up. Um, Dr. King right. has a question. Okay, excellent. It's Dr. King, come on out and ask your question. It's me. It's me. Great to be together. Hello, Kim. Hello, Patty. Hello, community. You know how much I love Positive Prime. It's made a huge difference in my life in a number of ways. Um, especially in the self-love um, spirit building arena. I do have a session that I love dearly called Your Soul Speaks. And Kim, I have a question. So let me get you on my screen so I can see you. Where are you? I'm here. Okay, so maybe if I talk, I show up for you. And you've just muted yourself. So unmute yourself, Dr. Kim. Okay, so here's my question. It's a little bit of true confession. So for decades and decades, I've had a secret lover who would meet me um, whenever I was needy, would comfort me, would be there when I was celebrating. And I want to break up with that secret lover. And that secret lover is food. And I've been noticing how much of my eating is around emotions. And I want to break free from that and just use food to nourish my body and get all my other needs met in other ways. And yet the secret lover, now that's not a secret, has been with me for decades. You know, I was on my first diet when I was eight years old. 
and I've been on a million diets since then. And the scale has been, um, you know, my tyrannical partner, uh, you know, whatever the number said, I would either be happy or sad, you know. So I've been doing a lot of work on this. And yet, um, I haven't tapped into a positive prime session uh, about this. So I wanted to see what you recommend. Do you know what, Dr. Kim? I honor you, I cherish you, and I love you for that vulnerability and that honesty and really for being in service of uh, a grand number of people who are like you and indeed who are like me. And what's fascinating, I think, as we evolve and emerge and as we are on the self-improvement and personal development and change and transformation journey is that we start to notice some things about ourselves that we hadn't actually really noticed, hadn't really, you know, had the microscope on. And so it's interesting because I've noticed I too eat when I've had one of those really stressful conversations or meetings. And for some unknown reason, I go to eat. I will tell you that I absolutely now choose the food to satiate myself that are actually really nutritious, are really great for my health and well-being, and support me also in my own weight goals. Funnily enough, I jumped on the scales only this week and I'd lost 10 pounds over four kilos, which is quite a lot, isn't it? And I, of course, I was happy. I hardly ever stand on the scales though, because I want to love me for me. So what I would say to you, and I'm going to go and screen share and share with a few other people who may have something. And before we go any further, do you know, in a recent one of these gatherings as a group, I actually showed your session, Dr. Kim, and I then watched it again that day and the very next day. Your soul speaks. It's so soothing. It's so delicious. I love your session. All right. So here's what I would suggest about what it is that you're dealing with. I would suggest that you actually watch I Am Enough by Marissa Peer. Hmm. And the reality is, is that our emotional eating is usually around us feeling like we are not enough in some area. We're not smart enough. We're not productive enough. We're not efficient enough. We're not resourceful enough. We're not creative enough. We're not sexy enough. We're not slim enough. We're not enough, right? And so we have all of these um, incredible narrative stories in our head that we have on repeat, repeat, repeat. And one of the beautiful things about Positive Prime is it gives you different stories and it actually then starts to actually completely, it's almost like the vine that grows over those old tracks until those old hmm. tracks can't play anymore. And so I would definitely suggest I am enough. Do you know, there is also a beautiful psychotherapist. Um, her name is Sherry Gaber. I got to meet her a couple of years ago in California. Um, she's a gorgeous human being and she actually is the editor and creator of an incredible um, magazine. And conscious recovery, I think it's good for all of us. I think mm. no matter what it is that we're dealing with, now, I am not an alcoholic. Thank goodness, thank goodness, thank goodness, thank goodness, thank goodness, thank goodness, thank goodness. I have the potential of because I'm a really intense human being. And I was once, a long, long, long time ago, I was a smoker. I was a terrible chain smoker. And so I know what it's like to give up something forever. And I know how hard it is to actually deal with that little nicotine monster that has you addicted. And so what I can tell you is that I definitely watched this session, Conscious Recovery, um, many times, like once a month over the space of a year or two, because I think no matter what, I'm actually dealing with my own beingness that has this propensity to potentially be addicted to work or addicted mm. even to exercise, right? So what that really means is, is that we justify to ourselves our behaviors, even if they're very, what we would say is helpful behaviors like exercise, but we know that there are lots of people who take that too far as well, which means they just, they don't have this nice, lovely, harmonious balance. And what I would love for all of us is that we have this really serene balance with everything in our lives. What I will tell you about in terms of um, food is that I would definitely watch Wonderful Wellness. It will start to change you, but make sure you personalize these so that even if you go and you eat a lot, you don't necessarily need to break up with food. You just need to break up with food that doesn't serve you, right? And so 
one of the things I've been testing, even with my own autonomic nervous system disorder, is that I've been testing, can I actually completely eliminate things? And can I do just like with so much, um, I don't know, it's just great. Um, it's just great. Mm. So I never, ever, 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 ever would have believed you if two months ago you said you'll give up caffeine, Kim. I was like, oh, yeah, no, I love coffee. Now, it's not like I drink a lot of coffee. I drink like one or two cups a day, but I love coffee first thing in the morning. Well, I haven't had a cup of coffee now in nearly three weeks. It was not difficult for me to give it up. I thought it was going to be so hard. It was not because I am a positively primed human being and I watch the, you know, the sessions that are around nutritional nurturing and wonderful wellness. And I've actually changed the core of who I am. So I just make these um, automatic, automatic decisions in very organic ways that now support my goals. All right, so I see your hand up. Any other questions? Thank you so much for that. Very helpful. Thanks, Kim. Helpful. Okay. So absolutely nutritional nurturing is going to be really great for you because if you go and snack, you might snack on walnuts or you might snack on um, almonds. I will tell you that um, there is actually a woman who uh, is in our community. Let me just go and see if I can find Rena's. Um, Rena actually has, did have a thriving business. It's called, um, here we go, Easy Willpower Weight Loss. Let me tell you a little bit about Rena. She is a gorgeous woman. I would say in her 60s or 70s, I don't actually really know. She is incredibly healthy. She has a foundation in hypnotherapy and she had programs that ran in lots of hospitals, particularly for those people who are going through gastric banding surgery. Anyway, she would actually um, create a program for these patients and it was incredibly successful. I mean, she's made millions of dollars out of this work. Interestingly enough, we had this great conversation just recently because she has thrown her incredible intelligence and instincts and determination into a new CBD company of her own making. Um, and here in Australia, that's not yet legal. So um, I think she thought, oh, wow, Kim Serafini could distribute the product, but I can't actually. Well, Positive Prime can't um, because our laws won't actually allow it, even if I believed in it, which I don't know if I do because I don't even really know anything about it. But anyway, um, so uh, what I can tell you about Rena is that this session works. It absolutely works. So make sure you go watch this one and make sure you personalize it. Please do. But I would say to you, um, and I do say this quite a lot to everyone, see this fulfilled forgiveness. Hmm. Please, 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 at least once a week, watch for the guilt, for fulfilled forgiveness, because we really have to forgive ourselves for all of our transgressions, for all of the shadow aspects of ourselves. And we all have that shadow, right? We can't deny it. We do. And so all of us at some stage in a week do something that we're not proud of, that we don't think, oh, wow, that was me acting in the highest and best interests of myself and everybody else, right? So I think that sometimes it's a good idea just to give yourself some self-love through the act of forgiveness. I know that you know that one. I do know that you know that one. So for all of you who are listening who um, maybe needed that message, Seriously, it's a good message. What I can tell you is I also love this session by Nadine, Heart Consciousness. I have watched this quite a few times recently. It's beautiful. And it does get me to drop out of my head and into my heart. I think that a lot of what's actually occurring in the world today is actually about all of us intellectualizing some of these ideas. Like we, we, we might learn about mindfulness or we might learn about stillness. Or we might learn about tranquility and we might learn about... Um, the necessity for us to actually be present. But quite frankly, most of us intellectualize those concepts and we stay out of embodying them. And I think that when we have more heart consciousness, we can anchor ourselves into that embodiment. Does that make sense? I hope that does. I think it's really, really, really important. It's one of the reasons why, of course, I love your session. And your session to me is very similar to... Um, Jackie Maffenbeyer's session, and she's a beautiful Canadian. She does a lot of work with Neil Donald Walsh, as you know. I know you two have become friends. Um, and I love your session, and I love her session. And I kind of think, you know, in this day and age, um, it's a little scary. Hey, should I talk about really super quickly this think tank that I was in the other day? 
we were we were actually talking about how there is a transformative technology company and we're actually in that um, space and I'm a founder of a software technology company called Positive Prime and so I get the privilege and the honor and absolutely the pleasure of being in this think tank with these other founders and one of these companies in the cohort or in the group or in the whatever we want to call it the sandbox or the playground is Aura as in Aura Rings and They've sold about 500,000 units and they have um, just been through a raise. So they've gone to venture capitalists and um, private equity folks and they've actually raised $100 million. It was announced this week. And it's because they were able to prove that their algorithm associated with their biosensors. So they're sensing, um, quite frankly, sleep and body temperature and they've got this very special way of then determining what that means and displaying the data in a meaningful way that's really useful and so we're having this conversation about um, what does it take to be somebody and I've got I've got some friends at Singularity University and we've got an advisor um, within the Positive Prime team from Singularity University and it's like those of us who are up to positively impacting a billion lives. And I saw someone the other day write, oh, I'm going to change hundreds of lives, thousands of lives, um, millions of lives. And I thought, well, you probably have to get through hundreds of thousands before you get through millions. But then the next thing was, and even billions. And I'm thinking, changing billions of people's lives, let's actually just wind back a little bit and think about what does that mean? Well, here at Positive Prime, we actually have relationships with influencers and with best-selling authors and with amazing people who have audiences. And we have this professional leadership program, which is really a certification. And we really love creating this beautiful collective of people who are committed to sharing the latest and greatest in positive psychology and neuroscience. Anyway, so um, what is really interesting is that... Um, I actually sat down and worked out what would it take for us to actually positively impact a billion people's lives at Positive Prime. And why is it that those at Singularity University and those within the transformative technologies organization, why is it that they see that Positive Prime is one of the most exciting next big things? Why did that, what, what are they seeing? Anyway, I actually went back a step and I was like, wow, so we've got hundreds and hundreds of people who are in our professional leaders community, some more engaged than others. I can see how over the next couple of years, that'll end up being a number that is about 10,000. And what I know about the number 10,000 is that if we actually have 10,000 people in our leaders community and they're sharing positive prime, they would have to actually share it with their own audience if their audience was a million people. What's 10,000 times a million? It's a billion, right? So it would like, in order for us to actually positively impact a billion people's lives, we would actually really need to sit here and think who are the 10,000 people that we are nurturing in this collective? And, and do each and every single one of those 10,000 people, well, no, guess what? It's not 10,000, is it? I love my calculator. Who's got a calculator? Who's with me and who's already gone out there and going, okay, so 10,000 times 100,000, how much is that? Is that a billion? Who wants to, you know what? You can't just show up on an, I'm on my Saturday morning. I've got to have breakfast yet. I might have brunch by the time we're ended. And I want you to just think about how extraordinary it is that we are in the process of, we're on the journey to impacting a billion people's lives. Amazing, 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 amazing. Hey, amazing. All righty. So, ah, I can see someone's just asked about creativity. In order for you to be the kind of person who is in our vibration and at our frequency, and you're actually, you know, you're mixing and merging with our energy and you want to be one of the people who's a part of this collective that impacts a billion lives on the planet. You have to be very, very creative. You have to really be incredibly bright. I mean, intellectually bright. 
thank goodness for positive prime, in order to actually bring about those kinds of outcomes, right? So what I can tell you is that it is actually being proven that people who positively prime themselves every single day, they are three times more creative when they're actually given all of these fancy, um, they're like games that social scientists give people who are positively primed or negatively primed to play. And the people who have these games are three times more creative once they've been positively primed. So positive priming actually makes you more creative in and of and by itself. And um, Patty is absolutely right. Thank you for that suggestion. Jen's session is perfect for helping people with creativity. Should we go back and um, have a little look at that? Let's go here to Jen. Jen's session, healing and creativity. She actually runs these beautiful art classes via Zoom. Um, and so do get in touch with her if you really want to explore some of your emotions in a very creative way. I actually recently did one of these group gatherings where I, I spent a lot of time talking about super mixes. When you are a positive prime, very precious uh, member of ours in our community, and you're a subscriber, you actually have access to what we call super mixes. So super mixes are actually a mixing and emerging of um, quite a few sessions based upon a theme. And it means that you don't necessarily have to go and watch one session and then another session and then another session. And then we actually mix and merge them all. And if you can personalize your super mixes, whoo, it will mean that you watch it incredibly quickly if you try and load it within um 15 minutes, I'll just show you this one because I actually, I'm pretty happy at the moment. So I'm gonna go here and you can see that at the moment we're buffering, oh, it started playing. And it plays pretty quickly if it wants to actually show the whole thing inside 15 minutes, right? What I what I actually um, showed the other day, but I may need to do it again, is let's just say I'm super busy and I don't have 15 minutes. Let me just go down and um, mute the music for a second. If I'm super busy and I don't have 15 minutes, I can go here to time and I can go and choose five minutes. Now watch happens. Oh, how fast is that? That is flooding. And so long as you allow yourself to breathe really deeply and fully while you're doing this, I'll give you an example. I might watch at least one super mix first thing in the morning and I personalize them. And I will breathe in for four through my nose and breathe out as slowly as I possibly can through my mouth through pursed lips. So... And make sure that I'm taking really full deep breaths very slowly into my belly. I'm filling up my entire belly. Um, I'm really pushing that air down and through my entire body. And I'm holding it there and then I'm breathing out ever so slowly. And whilst I'm doing that, I am actually in the habit of saying yes, 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 yes. And so I've asked the universe, God, my higher um, self, my source energy. Um, I'm aligned with universal divine energy. I am in the matrix here. I'm in the quantum field here. And I'm asking all my guides and guardians and angels to come and be here with me now. And I'm saying yes, yes, yes to all of this and perhaps something even better for my life and yours right now. And I'm saying thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for allowing me to experience all of this and anything or everything that's even better, that's in the best interest of all of our higher selves and all of our futures, I'm asking and I'm thanking, 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 thanking this divine energy for this to become our reality and for us to enjoy the process and for us to actually really find the whole thing exciting and delicious so that we're feeling effervescent, we're feeling absolutely incredible. I hope that all helps. Who else has got a question? Do you want to keep watching this? This is seriously what I do. I might add a little bit of an extra. Do you want to hear a little bit of an extra? Uh, okay. And anything or anyone that can facilitate this with success, ease, grace, speed, and joy, please add it, create it, and store it across all time, space, dimension, realities, and frequencies. Some people know the work of some of the people who actually talk about the opposite, but quite frankly, we live in the positive world. So it's not like an anything or anyone in the way of it, please delete it, uncreate it and destroy it across all time, space, dimension, realities and frequencies. I know um, Christy Marie Sheldon's super famous for that. She actually probably had that from her influences from Access Consciousness. All of that is fantastic. But for me, I actually downloaded an anything or anyone that can facilitate 
It's success with ease and grace and speed and joy. Please add it, create it, and store it across all time, space, dimensions, realities, and frequencies. Mm -mm. All righty. I hope that was helpful. Was it? Should I go over here to the um, video and to the chat and see? Kim, we have I a will. question from Patricia. And she uh, has asked, um, well, I'll let you speak, Patricia. She has asked a question about um, how to take massive action in her direct sales business. What would that look like? And how could you give her some feedback? So Patricia, you can ask your own question. I just wanted to interrupt you, Kim, to so make sure we catch that one. Yeah, and, and my internet's a little uh, not great, so I have to leave my video off. So basically, I'm just looking to get into massive action. I basically just started about a week ago in this positive prime. So I'm kind of excited to see what will happen and where to go. Oh, I love the question, Patricia. Do you know, so um, not so secretly, I was one of those people who quite a while ago, uh, became like the rising star in one of these network marketing direct sales businesses. Um, I'm no longer actually um, intricately involved in any, but I love, 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 love the models, the compensation plans, the community, the collaboration, the teamwork. I love everything there is to love about network marketing and direct sales. So let me dive deep with you, Patricia, because I, I think in this one new opportunity, I made $88,000 in my first eight weeks and I could go on and tell you lots more. I got involved in another one and I built the team to 4,000 people like in less than six months. Um, and is it because I'm Kim Serafini? Yeah, it's because I'm Kim Serafini. So it doesn't matter what product, it doesn't matter what compensation plan, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter what the company is, I'm going to be super successful in it no matter what. So do you want to hear? Ready? Put yep. that seatbelt on because we're about to like shoot to the moon. Okay, I'm going to screen share and I'm going to show you some of the things that I've created. Um, remember that I said you absolutely need to personalize. So as I show you these, I really want you to personalize these positive prime sessions. What I should do is create a super mix just for direct sellers, shouldn't I? And those are involved in network marketing. I'm going to do that. I'll speak to Mayumi on Monday and I'll ask for it. Okay, so winning teams absolutely essential for you it needs to be in the super mix Miami if you're watching the recording of this the video all right so winning teams absolutely do you know what I watch this one because we at positive prime have a team of people who are in service of all of you and so we need to be a winning team right and we need to attract winners to our team did you hear that it's a right. very slight distinction yeah. all right so if you are in the vibration of winning teams, you will attract winners to your team. And so will your team members also attract winning teams. But absolutely, you must personalize, right? So you must upload photographs. Let's just go to personalize. Yep. I'll just, yeah. So, yeah, I've done it um, already. So I've got, awesome. I've got thousands of images, right? So um, I definitely want photographs of me. This is one of me. But you know what? Patty's in my team. I definitely want a photograph of Patty in my team. And do you know what? By my extended team, I'm actually really thinking about our professional leaders. And this is Barry McGowan. Barry McGowan's an amazing teacher who uses Positive Prime in her classroom. And this is Shirley and Anita um, and Lachelle. They're actually in our Positive Prime Leaders Collective. Oh, there's another photo of me. And guess what? I did an amazing interview with uh, Mike Dooley. Do you know Notes of the Universe? I love Notes of the Universe. I love Mike Dooley. So anyway, let me put that photograph there. Oh, here's my mom. Um, I'll tell you, I did something super interesting, which I've never done before. This is actually photographs of um, lots of $50 notes in Australia. I actually went to the bank and I withdrew $5,000 in actual hard cash, right? And I got it into an envelope and I took photos of it. And I've never thought of doing anything like that any before, but do you know how much fun it was? It was so much fun. It was just so much fun. And so what I would suggest that is if you can do that, you should do that. All right. So I've, I've now personalized this. So I'm going to go and play the session. This is not the, this is not the only session if you really want to be super successful. So let's see what the super mix is, but this is uh, winning teams. Let me show you something else. Um, this is a little bit of a hack. It's really esoteric. So if this doesn't suit you, don't do this. If this doesn't speak to the core of you and all your beliefs, don't do this. But I'm going to show you what I would do. So let's just say I'm going to watch this one. Let me go down to a slower speed for a second. 
I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go to YouTube, right? And it's probably going to come up with my session. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do meditation music for um, manifesting, I don't know, abundance or money, right? Let's do abundance because abundance means an abundance of really great ideas. So see this abundance, meditation, wealth, like money, 12 million views. That'll be good for me, good enough for me today. And so what I'll do is I'll go down here and oh, we don't want to watch the ad, do we? Bear with us. Okay, skip an ad. Woohoo! All right, so I want to make sure that that music is unmuted and turned up. Can you hear that? Yep. And now I'm going to go back here. And I'm going to watch this session with that manifestation music in the background. That means that you can watch any music you like. You don't have to watch the music that we've actually paired with the session. Breathe cool. this in. All right, I'm just going to go pause that because I really want to tell you something that I would love for you to be doing whilst you're watching this session. What I want you to do is I want you to watch the session and I want you to actually thank the divine energy, whether that's God or your angels or your higher self or your soul. I want you to thank this quantum field that we're playing in for allowing you to serve all the people that you see in this session and allow your members to connect with all these types of people. So I look at these people, right? And all I want to do is I want to connect with people who are like these people in the session. So I say, thank you, thank you, thank you for all of these people being involved in my business as either customers or team members and anyone or everyone who is like them. Did you hear that? It's almost like I'm actually sending messages whilst I'm actually going through this really incredible experience where I'm saying, I really want to connect with all of these people and people like these people. I want to serve these types of people as customers. I want our team members to serve these kinds of people as customers. So when you see people in the Positive Prime sessions, I want you to feel like your heart energy is actually connecting with their heart energy. They are your people. They are our tribe. They are the billions of people or the billion people we will positively impact with Positive Prime. And of course, you want these people to be your customers and your team members, all righty? So you can make that happen. And so long as you then do this, what happens with cognitive dissonance inside your brain is that anything that isn't aligned with those declarations and the decisions that you're making will actually cause you to change. It's almost like you're the ship and you're just shifting your beautiful sails slightly. And so you then start to orient yourself and the circumstances and the situations and the people in your lives. And you take advantage of the opportunities so that you actually do have this extraordinary ability to be in alignment with everything that is the content and your declaration. So you saw that photograph of me. All right. So Let's go on to the next one. So bear with me and I'm going to super quickly get here. So winning teams is here in the library. Uh, I do feel a little bit better. All right. So what else? You talked about taking massive action, didn't you? Yep. 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 All righty. So if you're going to take massive action, please, 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 please ensure that you take the time and that you positively prime yourself first so that you actually infuse the actions with the right energy and intentions. And so that each of your actions is astonishing. All righty. And that is why this session is called Astonishing Actions. All of us, all of us, all of us, all of us need to actually take more action. We need to be more proactive. I was, Patty, did we not have this conversation yesterday? No, I'm oh. just laughing about this. <laughs> okay, so it was probably 20 years ago when I went to um, Unleash the Power Within or probably one of Anthony Robbins' high-level programs like Date with Destiny. I can't remember quite which. And we also, because of the change management consultancy that I worked with in London and New York, we actually had these incredible um, lunches and learns but like with people like the founder of emotional intelligence or peter drucker i mean seriously we had the most extraordinary people who would come um, but we were a super fancy very 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 fancy um consultancy so we had access to all sorts of the most brilliant brains on the planet anyway one of them said to me 
you must do that which is most difficult first thing in the morning so i'm going to take me off screen share just for a second so you really 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 hear this in every cell in your body you must do it has to be a must by the way we negotiate with ourselves unless it's a must if you must get to your children or you must get to your parents anything that's a must in our life we make happen and anything less than that we actually self-sabotage so if this is a must for you patricia and yep. anybody else who's listening you need to actually play those hacks or those tricks with yourself to convince yourself of why it's a must for you to take the toughest most difficult action of the day earliest in the day however before you do that you need to be feeling awesome and so how do you do that well this is what they said you ready you must decide yeah positive prime no that as well but you must decide what is the one action you need to take first thing in the morning that has the biggest ripple effect and the greatest return on your invested love see time and energy is actually love right yeah time and energy is love time and energy is love so it's not an, a return on investment in terms of your money it's a return on investment in terms of this extraordinarily scarce thing called time all of us are racing against time and so if you're going to spend really valuable time spend it on the thing that gives you the greatest return and do that first and i know that most people in the you know personal development self-improvement world focus on this in some way shape or form at some point in the journey but i will tell you i am pretty famous for teaching all of my private clients something that i think is called the incubation effect i'll give you an example if you hit the ball across the te tennis court, right across the net, Wimbledon is actually playing now. Did you see an Australian is actually reaching the finals, the females, Ash Barty, woo for Australia. Sorry, that's just a little woo for Australia. No, not sorry, woo for Australia. Anyway, I know most of you are based in North America, but um, the interesting thing is, is that if, when you hit the tennis ball across the net, right? What happens is, is it's in play. And then the universe, let's call it the universe or the quantum field arranges the circumstances, the situation and the people necessary, reorchestrates everything. But you have to hit the ball first and it has to be in play before someone can hit it back. And that's the return. That's the, that's the other side of your action. So you've got to be out there sharing or you've got to be out there showing up online in this day and age, but you, you actually have to take the actions in order for the reaction to occur, the cause and effect. So most people are waiting for things to be perfect before they take action. Uh -uh. You absolutely, because here's one of the interesting things about one of the laws of the universe. If something is going to take five years, and let's just say it's me in this business, Positive Prime wants to positively impact a billion people's lives. And let's just say we want to actually accomplish that in five years. Or let's just say I, I get to surrender and let go. And I allow, I let God or I allow the universe, or my angels, or I allow the quantum field to actually decide the timing, which is actually, I swear to God to you, the most important aspect of what i'm about to say you actually have to surrender and let go there has to be no attachment but let's just say in the quantum field it will take five years for the quantum field to align everything that is necessary to bring that about well if i don't take the action today i can't get the result for five years from today if i take the action tomorrow it's five years from tomorrow so do you get it? Like every single intention that you have, goal, aspiration, ambitious, seriously, it there is this universal time, divine timing, right? Now, yeah. if that's, I want 10,000 people in my team and divine timing needs a year, but you're like, mm, I'm just going to kick back. I'm not going to be very proactive. I'm not going to take massive action. Oh, I'll get around to it. I'll just delay myself a little bit more. I'll just shoot myself in the foot a little bit more. I'll just cut my nose off in spite of my face a little bit more. I'll just be in self-sabotage a little bit more. I, I've been there. It takes one to know one, right? 
So the crazy thing is, is that now, 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 take the action, imperfect as it is. Allow the universe to play with it. Allow the quantum field to play with it. Take the action now. I promise you, it does not need to be perfect. In fact, perfect is your enemy. When, oh, I'll get going when the ducks are aligned and when everything's looking like it's super professional. Ah, oh, let the universe help you. Thank right. you. <laughs> perfect let me just show you another one all righty so most important activity you do first now if you want um the magic you better figure out how you're going to master the magic and so mastering magic is another perfect session most of us need to sell we either need to sell ourselves we need to sell you know i mean because this is the other thing you will attract people who will want to be led by you when you are a really beautiful leader, right? When you're compassionate and you're kind and you're thoughtful and you're considerate and you serve, people want to be led by you. So you don't get to be a leader who's respected or admired and you don't get to actually achieve what leaders achieve unless you become the leader. It's a really interesting thing. People want to be led by others who make them feel like they can achieve their goals. People want to be led by others when, as a leader, you can actually paint a very clear picture and when you can help others to get very clear about what it is that they want and why they want it. So you might want to actually watch some leadership sessions. Um, your leadership coach by Laura Scott is fantastic. But back to... We sell ourselves, right? And who we are oozes out of us. And what is selling really? It's transferring enthusiasm. I'm sure you've all heard of this. We actually had this incredible program that I did ages ago, which is about how to sell and not be a salesperson or how to make sure that you entice people and encourage people. And how do you have this compelling offer that people want to take advantage of so that you're actually never really selling? I think that I'm a really great salesperson, but I'm never selling because what I'm really doing is inviting people to actually choose for themselves what it is that they want. So I can tell you that super sales has been my friend. So this is one of the sessions that I would suggest that you heavily personalize if you're into any kind of sales role. And the scary thing is, we're all in a sales role. Do you know it was Tony Robbins who did a whole piece on this in one of his, you know, multi-day retreats. And it was about even when we go on a date or even when I show up here and I put my lipstick on and I brush my hair and I put a pretty, you know, shawl on with some pretty pearls. This is all part of a sales process. And so Tony Robbins actually made me really incredibly, um, uh, alert to this competing idea that I'd grown up with that um, there should be more substance over style, right? So I used to think that because I was super bright that a man would see how clever I am and be attracted to my intelligence. <laughs> and Tony Robbins on the stage said something like, but if you don't package that beautifully, that man's never going to take the time to unwrap the gift that could be your substance. Makes sense. I was like... No, yeah, because I didn't really pay all that much attention to the way that I looked and the way that I presented myself and so forth. Um, and probably to my detriment for at least a decade of my prime years, you know, my 20s when I was slim and <laughs> fit and really beautiful. And no, I, I'm actually much more beautiful as a human being now. I know that. I know that deep in my soul. And I also have this other strange um, uh, knowing that I was meant to go on the journey with the punches in the stomach and the hits to the head and the falling down in order for me to become who I am and actually create something like Positive Prime. Do you know what I mean? So um, Cameron yeah, wouldn't I be totally my spouse. Yeah. He just wouldn't be my spouse because somebody else would have like snatched me up earlier. There were quite a few who tried to snatch me up earlier. But anyway, I went through a couple of engagements, but no, no weddings. Um, so 
I had my heart Thank smashed. You. All right, perfect. I love, 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 love. Thank you. Um, Lachelle, it's such, such an interesting thing. Lachelle is actually in our professional community and she is a qualified accountant. Don't hold that against her. No, my Cameron's an accountant. I have a great deal of love for accountants because I love numbers. Actually, Patricia, you know that's one of the other things. <sighs> hmm. We don't actually have a session about it, but I think that we do. Um, absolute abundance. Absolute abundance is about numbers. It's about the numbers of grains of sand on the beach. It's about the numbers of leaves on trees. It's about um, absolute abundance is about numbers. So I, I love numbers. And do you know, I was never great at Excel spreadsheets. I was never great at actually like being disciplined enough to sit down and do the numbers. And one of the things that I think that um, network marketing really taught me was actually how to love the numbers because I started to think about, well, when two becomes four and four becomes eight and eight becomes 16 and 16 becomes 32 and 32 becomes 64 and 64 becomes 128 and 128 becomes 256 and 256 becomes 512 and 512 becomes 1024, 1024 becomes 2048. You with me, right? Mm -mm. I love numbers because numbers means that's the number of people in your team or that's the number of customers you're serving or that's the number of lives you're changing, right? Woo! <laughs> you're a bookkeeper. I love that, Patricia. Awesome. So I hope that what you're helping your team members to do is understand the numbers in your compensation plan because when you are extraordinary at helping somebody to really grasp in a very down-to-earth way the numbers, they get it. Mm. Deborah, this past year has been a year of spreadsheets. Woo! Uh, I love that you're getting used to them. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Do you know we're an hour in and I wouldn't have imagined that we could possibly be an hour in. But we are. Uh, what do I need to know? Hmm, John, you have to kiss a lot of frogs to get your prints. That's the truth. Uh, I found that that was the truth from my life. It doesn't necessarily need to be the truth. I kind of think to myself, oh, my gorgeous little nieces, I don't want them to have to do that and have their hearts smashed a billion times into gazillions of pieces. Um, but if it means that they end up with somebody uh, of the quality of my Cameron, then maybe it's going to be worth it for them too. Uh, okay, so we do these at least once a month. We are thinking of doing them once a week. And so if you're a vote for one of these sessions at least once a week, and not necessarily always with me, absolutely, I can tell you Shannon and Benny and Patty, they are world-class coaches and guides in and of their own rights. And I kind of feel like they should have their um, day in the sun, their week in the sun, their month in the sun, their year in the sun. No, 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 they should definitely do some of these as well. And so keep your eyes out because I think Patty and Shannon and Benny are going to do more of them along with me. Um, and, oh, you vote for weekly? You vote for weekly. Okay. Woohoo. Thank you for that. Carol in Austin, Texas says that she finds um, sessions on a really high speed. Is there too fast for best results? <laughs> no, because if you watch a super mix, okay, do you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to, do you know that there's, we've got these gifts that we give to all of our members who stay for a year and it's called a personal super mix. You can actually also sometimes get them as a bonus gift in some of our promotions, or sometimes you can actually just pay for them when they're on special. So to have your own Supermix created for you based upon your favorite sessions, I think it's about $299 for our team to do that. I'm going to show you something. You, seriously, you're going to go, oh, what? So all of you know that you have access to the seven days program that Patty and I did for Think and Grow Rich, don't you? So we, you know, basically we took all of the best of the Think and Grow Rich Napoleon Hill materials um, there was a great book that I read called The Think and Grow Rich, The Legacy by James Whitaker. Anyway, we brought it to life and we created all these sessions. And when you get through the seven days, we originally did it live. What actually happens is we offer you this um, secret surprise. I'm not going to tell you what it is. Anyway, so I'm going to share something with you because I have my own super mix. Let's go down here. It's in my drop down menu. It's not available to anyone in the world. And I had the team create it and it cost $299. And it's called Kim's something or other. Yeah, look at this Kim Supermix 2021. So I asked for 
more than 10, I'm not going to tell you how many, more than 10 of my own favorite sessions, right? And I also asked for them to actually combine it with the special surprise secret session, which is this mega session, like an uber mega session on like the travel bucket list. I spend hundreds and hundreds of hours going to the websites of all sorts of different specialist travel providers, whether that was exclusive camping in Africa or in Mongolia or in Alaska, or whether that was an Alman resort, like these super exquisite seven star experiences. I, like I seriously, I collated thousands of images of if you were to spend a year or two traveling and you had an unlimited budget, then you would go on one of these trips, right? Well, this particular trip, we put into a session. So ready for this? Oh, Kim Haynes loves the 2019 super mix. I actually love it too. All right, so this is my this is my super mix. Um, we are loading here more than 20,000 frames, okay? Now the average session has only 800 images and 200 statements, so that's only 1,000 flashcards. This is more than 20,000, you ready? Oh, I'm a bit anxious um, to show you my personal secret super mix. And I'll slow it down. You can see I've put a little heart in there. So it actually goes and appears in my session so that I can access it super quickly without going to the dashboard and getting that drop down menu because I got hundreds of sessions in my drop down menu. It's loading 10,000 sessions. And remember, our internet speed actually determines. Oh, maybe I haven't even explained this to you. Every single time you press play on a positive prime session, it reshuffles from the previous time you played. And so it's all in a randomized order. Woo! Too fast. Okay. All right, can you see at speed nine, it's gonna take three hours and five minutes for me to watch this session. Am I gonna do this? Yes, why? Because I'm worth it and so is my life. And so it's a Saturday and I could actually play this on a full screen in my kitchen while I'm doing other things. I could go down to speed one or two. Guess what happens at speed one or two? How long is this gonna take? Ready? I am a little nuts, okay? Have we, all, have we all actually made that determination? Kim is slightly crazy, um, super intense. Um, they say that about eight type personalities. Okay, so this will take me 27 hours to watch on speed one. Is it worth it? Yeah. If you believe in quantum physics, it's actually going to, that's our house. That's actually from down above looking up at our house. That's where I'm, I'm actually sitting in that house right now. So anyway, um, interestingly enough, this is completely personalized. Oh, who wants to get married there or have their daughter get married there or their niece get married there or some other person or bless the person who's going to get married there. Did you hear that? That was one of those secrets. The more you bless others, for getting and having what they want. Who wants to come to a dinner party there? I think that that was in Istanbul. Um, who wants to have a beautiful growing greenhouse like that? Oh, we do. We've got lots of beautiful land for that. Okay. So if you're playing this whilst working in your kitchen, are you not seeing the images constantly? Well, interestingly enough, guess what? I'm glancing and I'm watching and I'm glancing and I'm watching. And sometimes, um, you know how we all get distracted by scrolling on our social media and all of a sudden five minutes has been wasted? Well, sometimes I look into a positive prime session and exactly the same thing has happened, except they're not moments wasted. My super consciousness is being completely reprogrammed. So I become the kind of person who can actually impact a billion lives for real in this lifetime. And on that note, we can't do it without you. So please, 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 please go out and share Positive Prime. It is such a gift to those people that you invite into our community. And it is incredible. It is amazing. It is phenomenal. It is seriously a disruptive revolution. 
And I am so blessed, so blessed that somehow I was able to download this thing that is a positive prime session. And I'm so blessed that we have the team that allows us to actually share this incredibly disruptive innovation with all of you. And I love you all very much. Mwah. Go enjoy your weekends. All right. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Much Pleasure. love, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.